Hey everybody, welcome to Around the Bag. We got a big show for you tonight. We got Roy Cruz, we got Jocelyn Sharp, we've got Johnny Herrera. We're gonna have a great time, great time with him. Uh, a couple things. Make sure you share, like, and review on this. Uh, listen to it on iTunes. Uh, watch it on uh, YouTube. Also, this weekend I'll be at the uh, I'll be at the Ontario Improv, July first through third. So come see your favorite Canadian slash American slash Australian guy with three passports as he performs during Canada Day and July fourth, Independence Day for America. Uh, you can listen to me on your mom's house. That just came out today. And also, July 4th, that's when Sword and Scale Rewind starts. Ian Bag Murder Fan. So uh, check that out. You can get that at iTunes. Uh, have a good time. Go to Ian Bag for all your IanBag.com needs. Woo. Around the Bag. I take a group of people, I ask them questions, and we become friends. Tell everybody all about you. Got out of the market with lemon juice, made up with green cheese. Question is, how do you like your eggs? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the tighter the better. From your own daydreams and fantasies as well. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Around the Bag? Welcome to Around the Bag. We got a great show for you now. We got Roy Cruz. He's here. We got Jocelyn Sharp. She's here. And we got Johnny. He's here. Welcome, everybody. Jocelyn, tell everybody all about you. Well, I'm from Las Vegas. I Ooh. am um, an exquisite social class known as Desert Trash. So oh. I'm from the middle of nowhere, Nevada. And I'm a comedian uh, based out of Las Vegas. And that's all I do is do comedy and smoke weed. So. Oh, good for you. Smoking the weed. You're going to be high during this. I love it. This might fit in. Johnny, are you? Uh, I have a feeling you just might smoke weed. I'm having uh, a feeling. Uh, I definitely, uh, I definitely like <laughs> it. Definitely, oh, my definitely. goodness. We should have done this show in April is when we should have done it. Johnny, tell everybody all about you. Say again? Tell about you? everybody all about you, Johnny. What's up, everybody? My name is Johnny Herrera. I'm out from Wildemar, California. I am the uh, producer and booker of Hilarious Comedy. Been doing comedy for eight years. Last Saturday was my eight year anniversary. So I'm excited to be here with you, Ian. Thank you very much for bringing me out. Dude, let's have some fun, you guys. Let's well, thanks for being here. I hope you I hope you win. One of you will be my BFF by the end of the night. Uh, actually, Roy, Roy has been on the show before, but Roy, tell everybody about you. Tell yeah. everybody about you. Thank you, Ian, for having me again. Roy mm -hmm. Cruz, comedian based in LA, actor, writer, visual artist, and all around Filipina. How's that? Oh, Filipina all around. I, I've met the all around Filipinas. They, they're they very, usually very short and they usually eat a lot of carbs, the all around. <laughs> well, I, I'm a modern, I'm a modern kind of all around. That means I, I'm very good at multitasking. Oh my oh, goodness. Okay. Mm. You know, I could do comedy and make Caesar salad. How's that? Oh, that's congratulations, Caesar salad and comedy. That's the craziest Filipino I have ever met. Let's start the show, everybody. Let's get to yes. the first question of the day. And here it goes. I got two people. I already know their answer, but I don't know what Roy's is. I'm gonna. What calms you down? I have a hard time calming down. What calms you down? Let's start out with Johnny. Let's go with Johnny first. Uh, what calms me down is definitely weed. Is that what that's what we're talking about? Marijuana definitely, mm -hmm. definitely calms my down. Calms me down. That's my go-to. Yeah, you see him. You see him all hyped up. So yeah, I feel you might need some weed right now. There, John. <laughs> I am not. You have no idea. I smoke so much because I was getting really prepared for this, and I still don't feel stoned. I'm still full of energy right now. You got the. You got, yeah, you got a lot of energy. You got that. You also got that feel of a science teacher. That's what I love about you, right there, Roy. Roy, what about you? What calms you down? I'm gonna ask, I agree with Johnny, but I'm gonna go like it's gotta be indica. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Calm me down. Oh, that's what. And then match it with dark chocolate. Oh, wow. oh Jesus! Because that's a very sophisticated antidepressant. You know? You're an all-around pothead, Roy. That's what you are. You an all-around. I used to deliver weed, so oh. Oh, this, this show is perfect. I sometimes I just luck out and I put the right people together. <laughs> This is a good show. All right, we, we love you, Ian. That's why. I love it. Jocelyn, what do you got? I, I have a feeling you like to uh, draw. According to your wall, I have a feeling you like to draw after you smoke I do, I, I do sometimes, but actually what I really like to do, what really calms me down is being able to watch a public freak out from a safe distance. 
Oh, you're like, I'm not that person, so I'm yeah. all everything's gonna go to yeah, it's, it's very, very peaceful. Nice. You have meltdowns, right? But, but when you're yeah. watching yeah. this, when you're watching this incident, are you stoned? Of course. Am I breathing? <laughs> Am I alive? Am I conscious? <laughs> this is great. This is a, this is the 420 channel. That's what this is. This is I love it. I love that. You guys, that made me very happy. You guys all like, you like different things, but you all like the same thing and you're all calm and excitable. And I love it. Oh my God. Hey, who do you guys think is going to win the Stanley Cup? I know, I know there's Filipinas and people from Las Vegas and people from the, from the Valley. Let's get, let's get it. Johnny, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? I don't know when the when the Las Vegas Knights came out the first year they went. If I'm correct, didn't they already go? Didn't they go to the end to the Stanley? They all Cup? went. Oh, they went all the way to the end. But that was three years ago. Things are different now, Johnny. God I, damn it, get I, off the pot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not really a hockey guy, man. But last I heard, Vegas Knights were doing it. Uh, I, me, I'm a Wayne Gretzky fan, so that was uh, right. the Kings back in the day. So if it's between those teams, Knights or Kings, that's okay. it. Okay, Knights or Kings, those. Are <laughs> That's who Johnny thinks is going to win the Stanley Cup. He has no idea. Tampa and Montreal in it. Roy, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? Oh, Ian, you know me. I don't know anything about sports. I know, but look at your place. It looks like it's decorated nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I, like Jocelyn, I'm also an artist. I do drawing. So, uh, oh, you know, look, uh, I actually just like started the drawing today. So, uh, I love oh, That's a crazy drawing. Son of a yeah, bitch. I, you know, when we are not doing comedy, you got to sell art. You, you know? gotta sell the art. Uh, your answer should be Montreal, Roy. You go with Montreal. <laughs> I, know, I know, Ian. You're a big hockey fan. I know. I just yeah. thought I'd ask. I knew you guys were. None of you're gonna answer. I knew none of you're gonna answer. But I said I'm gonna answer. And Jocelyn, you, what are you? You're you're from the desert. You're a goddamn. You're a goddamn pothead. You got to watch the hockey every so often when you're playing video games. I mean, I guess I would have to place my bets on someone Canadian. You know, if I'm gonna <laughs> place my bet. I feel like he's gonna place your bets. It's gonna be on a Canadian team. Uh, a lot of a lot of years you'd win. You'd, you'd win, but a lot of years you'd lose. Usually it's someplace from a hot place that wins. Believe it or not, that's what's crazy about it. Uh, it's the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, guys, I want you to check out ESPN. Oh my goodness, I just stroked out in the middle of that. ESPN every so often and and <laughs> what's going on. God, y'all got zero points on that one. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> that was that's bad. okay. Oh my God. Uh, hey, here's here's a good one. Here's a good question. How many remote controls do you have? Hmm? Look around. You know, place. But everything now is one. Because I know, but now not everybody has that. Not everybody's as fancy as you, Roy. So yeah. your answer is one. Uh that's a, a two, three, four. Oh my, god. my god, son of a bitch. She's only got one TV. That's the sad part. Two. We have you two big TV? screen TVs in the living oh. room. Oh, good for you. She's got four me, everything's on the phone. Roy yeah. doesn't well, have his phone. We're married, so two TVs. You know? Oh, oh you know? yes. No, no arguments ever. Very well, that's good, nice. though, you know. Very smart. This is this is a good game. My goodness, we again we're learning a lot. If you get married, get two TVs. Roy goes and runs everything off his phone. Oh, John, yeah. how, many, how many more remote controls do you have? Uh, I'm actually in my guest room, so there's nothing in here. There's nothing in your guest room. There's nothing in my guest room. Oh, my this is actually this is actually the room where I just sit and I write and I think. This is the oh. only. This, there's there's nothing in here. Just the couch no, the remote, no remote controls in that room. Zero no. remote controls. Just Jocelyn, downstairs, downstairs, I do have three. You have three downstairs. Jocelyn has four with her right now. Roy has one. It's his one. Johnny has none. I think Jocelyn won that. She's like, she's like all teched up. And you, you guys, got all everything. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. well equipped, Jocelyn. Well not, equipped. Not the first time I've heard that. And that doesn't even include the PlayStation <laughs> or Xbox controllers, right? Well, yeah, no. yeah. No, I have, there's two Switch controllers, two PlayStation controllers, <laughs> and four Xbox controllers. My God. You're doing something right, girl. You're doing something right. You got a lot of stuff going on there. I like it. Hey, guys, <laughs> what's the scariest thing you've ever done? What is the scariest thing you've ever done? So mm -hmm. last, we talked about bungee jumping and, and uh, skydiving. But I want to know, like, sometimes rock climbing can be very scary. I want to know what the scariest thing you've done is. Let's start out with zero remote controls. Johnny Herrera. I have to say, honestly, I'm not an adventurous person. I've never gone hiking. I've never river rapped or nothing like that. But the scariest moment for me would have to be the first three minutes I ever did comedy. First three minutes you ever did comedy. Very, that's, yes. yeah, you got it. That's the biggest step right there, going yeah. on stage for the first time. Good for you. Where did you go on stage for the first time, Johnny? 
it was at the American Comedy Company. It was actually during a book sh- show. You just uh, got up and did it. Uh, it open like nothing. The, the, the headliner, Edwin San Juan, said, hey, dude, I want you to open for me. You got three minutes. I went up and did my thing, and I've been hooked ever since. My God, it's comedy is quite the drug, I'll tell you that. People get addicted <laughs> to comedy way more than heroin. Uh, are you people that shouldn't be doing comedy are doing comedy. It's crazy. Roy, how about you? What's the scariest thing you've ever done? So when I used the disabled card for my car and I got caught, that was the scariest. No like way. Meeting the cop waiting for me. That's the scariest. Part. What was the fine you got? What was the fine? Five hundred dollars. Wow. And God. then the other second scary part is when I was contesting it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, like you really feel your world is falling apart. Like you, because hey, it's disabled card of my mom. Right. And I got caught in Beverly Hills. So, oh, Beverly Hills! My God. Now, question for you: How did you try to? Uh, d- how did you try to fight it? Like you're like. Well, I, I, I said that like I just put it there because I was gonna pick up my mom. Mm. That no reaction. I kept on explaining nothing, and you really see her face like, "Bitch, you're gonna be paying five hundred dollars." That was the whole thing, and <laughs> I, I, I was even unemployed at that time. Oh so my you God. just don't know the fear of not having money. Yeah, you're panicking five hundred dollars. Yeah, you're just like yeah. shitting bricks, as they like to say. Yeah, so that's the scary when you when you see the cop waiting for you and you have no escape. That's the scary. Part. I love it. I love it. That's why you're in a padded room to this day. <laughs> Jocelyn, how about you? Uh, I'm I'm neurotic, so I'm scared of a lot of things. But objectively, the scariest thing I've ever done is send a nude to someone I wouldn't trust to drive my car. You sent a nude to somebody you wouldn't trust to drive your car. Mm-hmm. Why are you sending a nude to Roy? Because um, <laughs> I wouldn't just, mind, right? Objective <laughs> critiques. I just wanted, you know, he was doing a body study and he needed someone with a lot of crevices. So I, I really like backed it. him up. Nice. <laughs> I like it. And uh, did it turn out okay or did your nude no, get sent? No, no. It didn't get, I mean, maybe it probably is somewhere. I look great. So honestly. Oh. Good for, you. Good for you. Good for you. I'm changing your name to. You're not going to be Jocelyn anymore. You're going to be Tits McGee Sharp. That's what I'm going to call You know, that's been my nickname most of my life. So. <laughs> tits McGee Sharp. Sharpie Tits McGee. Oh my God. Uh, what's your? Okay, that was a good. That was a good answer. By uh, terrifying. Everything was terrifying there. Uh, but also, also everybody. So everybody's equal. But here's the next question. Here it comes flying in. By the way, here it comes flying in. By the way, guys. Here's the next question. What is your favorite? bill murray movie and i feel like this is a good question because you're all potheads let's start out with tits mcgee sharp uh probably ghostbusters ghostbusters very nice i'm gonna ask jocelyn how old were you were you even born when it first came out no i was born in 1988 so just like right around the same time yeah, I graduated college in 1988, girl. <laughs> oh, man. That was back in the old days when you had to put an effort into taking a nude and sending it to yeah. somebody. Oh, I, think about God. the fact I didn't even lose my virginity until 2003. Like, think oh, about me it. neither. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it all worked out. Oh, my God. Why? I didn't do the math. Because I had that first, he was like 1980. I was like, she's five. <laughs> <laughs> she was five. Terrible. Oh my God, those desert people are a little slutty. That's what I was gonna say right there. Uh, no, that, that, but the Ghostbusters—that is a—that is a very good one. He's and all the Ghostbusters, very good, very good, not, very nice for such a young child not knowing movies at all. Johnny, how about you? Uh, definitely, you know, old school Ghostbusters. But me with the new school, I have to say Space Jam. Oh, I haven't seen it. The, no, not the new Space Jam, the old one with Michael Jordan. Oh yes, I forgot he was in that one. Yeah, see, no, he was. Is he in the new one? I don't know if he's in the new one. I haven't seen it. That's with LeBron. I haven't seen it yet. Oh. Yeah. Right. Mine, mine has to be with Space Jam uh, uh, when, when he was in there. That was. Is was that fun. your favorite sport? Is basketball your favorite sport? Uh, football. 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 Michael Jordan, Bill Murray, hanging out. With yes. Both Roy, how about you? When he played Dr. Zisu. Life, that's life uh, aquatic, yeah. Life aquatic, so good. And I, I got, I almost booked a commercial copying him, but they didn't take me because of my Filipino accent. Ugh, racist sons of bitches. Yeah, 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 I'm telling you. But yeah, Life Aquatic would be my- Life Aquatic. Yeah, yeah. Those are all good movies, but you're wrong. What you're wrong? Meatballs. Meatballs is the best one right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, meatballs. It's a, it's a meatball. High school. That's just yeah. like- 
Okay. So good. It's so good. One more question in this round. One more question in this round. This is the last question. This round. Who would play you in the movie? Now we're sticking along the movie thing. Who would play you in the movie? Let's go with Roy. Who would you have play you? Yeah, someone, uh, someone with good with accents like Meryl Streep. Oh, who is not going to look like she appropriated me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see Roy's movie, yeah. Meryl Street. Oh, oh, you know? <laughs> Meryl playing a Filipina gay man. Oh, it's not even a stretch for her. Yeah. You know, all the, talk, all the talk Filipino about, gay men I've always said were Meryl Streep's. Yeah. Talk I've about representation, right? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Johnny, who's going to play you in the movie? I, I I don't know. Who, who who do you think would play? I don't know. As the character? I, I yeah. Mean, I, yeah I really who, don't know. Who would, who would really play don't Johnny know. in the movie? Who would be? Who do you think looks like? Who would you like to? Um, let's see here. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, oh Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> I mean, you see the movie. You've seen how he acts with Ted. He's a good stoner too. Johnny. Yeah, he does. He's a very. That's you know, true. I'm in a room, and there's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. That's a great I like Wahlberg. it. Jocelyn, uh, and by the way, um, that's my sister's name. If you take the A and the Z out, Jocelyn is, and it's oh. J-L-Y-N. That's my sister's name. And I'm yeah, going to call, um, her, up, call her up right afterwards and say, you better not be sending any goddamn tit pitch to people. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Um, no, Jocelyn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I would have to say, just based on my face shape, like Tiffany Amber Thiessen, but stinger with a bunch oh. of bees. Oh, Wait, what was the last part? I'm sorry, I missed a lot. Just you have to sting her with a bunch of bees, though. Sting her with a bunch of bees. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do look like you look a lot like her. You do. You got yeah. those. Che- oh my god. That's yeah. not- oh, that was a good round. You guys all did great in that round. Fantastic. That is the end of round one, and everybody seems to be tied up. It's time for pick it. Pick real good. All right, guys, we're going to start this out right now. I'm going to offer you two things. You're going to have to pick one. I'm going to start with Roy. Here we go. Roy, pinball or video games? Pinball. Oh. It's very, yeah, it's like Jodie Foster in The Accused. Oh, yes. Get him up on that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's your preferential situation? You prefer that? Oh, my God. Well, I just liked that when she was dancing before the, you know. Before the bad part. Before right, the bad you, part, yeah. Right. We all know if you cut the rape out, the dancing is the best part of that movie. <laughs> I, I just like pin, pinball is so nostalgic, though. It's so it, 70s. But it took such a weird turn there. I was like, uh, uh, Roy, pinball or, uh, pinball or video games? Gang bang me on a pinball table. <laughs> 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 well, that's a typical gay porn scene. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. <laughs> yeah, I just everybody was concerned about the glass afterwards. That's all. Jocelyn, oh, pinball oh. or video games? Video, video games, games, hands down. Video, video, game? games. video games. Video for games for Jocelyn. Yeah, that's right. She's a pothead. You like to play video games at home. Johnny, how about you? Video games. Video games. My I'm God. the only old school. Well, yeah, well, I just wanted to see. I wanted to see who played because I just I seen a I was watching Shark Tank the other day and they were trying to sell pinball games and I was like, oh, that's interesting. So, Roy, you can have your pinball machine. Those two are going to be playing video games. <laughs> All right, because I don't know. You can also games. you can also have the Jodie Foster and accused parts. We also you won't can. be you taking can. that part. You can. <laughs> you can have that. We're all going to give that to you. Here we go. Roy, mustache or beard? Beard. 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 Oh. Right, Johnny? You know, right. bears. <laughs> you know, bears. Oh. You know. <laughs> ah, Jocelyn, mustache or beard? I don't say mustache. I'm going through a mustache phase. Oh, really? Yeah. My God. Yeah, you would, I'm surprised you don't like pinball. The 70s stash is coming back, and I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm here for it. You're from the desert, and you like those molester types. Of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Who doesn't remember their first date? I love it. Who (laughs) doesn't? I remember my first date. She didn't have a mustache. I'll tell you that. Johnny. (laughs) Beard. Beard. 
yeah. like grow one and he likes the look of one. I like it. By the way, there's no facial hair. I would bring it up because I, I, you know, I just started, a, I had to shave now quite a bit. I, I like, I didn't get facial hair until I was about 40, 45 and boom, I get five years out of it. And now it's gone white already. I'm like, this is bullshit. Uh, and, I'm just like, uh, uh, and then when I was a teenager, I got pimples. Now I got gray hair. Suck it. Suck it. Fucking mother nature is what I'm trying to say. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> Uh, all right, Roy, Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Visual. Oh, visual. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Jocelyn, Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram, hands down. Twitter is a cesspool. All right. Twitter or Instagram, Johnny? Instagram. 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 Okay. Wow. Yeah. Good. No, I was I was asking that because I needed to find out which knee I needed to know which one you're going to share this when I cut the uh, promo. That's why I was asking that which one you're going to share. Oh, oh. send it away. Okay. Yeah, I'll be sending it over on uh, on the old uh, Instagram. I need one. Here we go. Chevron or mobile, Roy? Chevron or mobile? Chevron. I like the logo. Oh, you like a logo. like a ribbon, right? You it's should a have ribbon. known. You're such a visual guy, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh, Chev Chevron, because those little cars that talk, those were so cute. Oh, pothead it's thing! Look at those cars yeah. talking. That's crazy. <laughs> Got it. Chevron with Techron. Chevron with oh, he can be a big car guy over there. He's got to get the right gas in the car. And, and they have AM PM, right? I don't. <laughs> for, don't AM, for the snacks. Yeah, corn dog. Oh, that's Arco. That's Arco, isn't it? Oh, Arco, Arco. Yeah. Yeah, Arco is good. Arco is just shitty. Any way you look at it. Am I again? There we go. Uh, Roy, Target or Walmart? Target. Oh, Target. Target. The Red uh, Dot Boutique. Yes, I should have known. Mm -hmm. You're Filipino. You're Filipino. You struggle with your teas. That's why you call it Target. Target. Yeah. <laughs> because they have good skincare line. Ah, oh, they got some good. They got some right, good. Jocelyn. You know my red. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at this. Yes. Yep. Yes. Oh, look Our at you guys day. just bonding. You're gonna be best friends before yeah, this. We are. Jocelyn, I'm visit you. You know. Come see me. I like it. Like it. <laughs> By the way, Roy, if you're nice, she'll send you a nude. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. It's fair. Why not? You know. It, it, if, if, you're, if you're at all clever, they're in the cloud somewhere. So. They're in the cloud someplace. That's where he <laughs> likes to keep his pictures of girls. He likes to keep them in the cloud. Jocelyn. Target or Walmart? Target for sure. Target. And I was there yesterday and they sell dildos now, which was crazy. But what? Yeah. yeah, in Only the pharmacy Vegas, section. Right? Only in Maybe, dildos. I, I don't know, but it said personal hand massager, but they're definitely I mean, I don't know any hand that has a vagina and a butthole in it. So it's it, <laughs> you just hold it like this, is that how you hold your <laughs> hand massage? Yeah, like what is what is this? <laughs> That's wild. Well, yeah, that's it was crazy. Wild. So good. I mean, I'm great. I'm uncomfortable, but great. You know, Target's oh. doing things. You got to get a smaller one if you're uncomfortable. <laughs> God damn it. Johnny, Johnny, Target or Walmart? Target. 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 Oh, this is very nice. I didn't know. I didn't know I was going to go. God damn it. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I'm going to have to push this show as the fancy pants. That's what I'm going to have to do. Oh, my God. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Roy, breakfast or lunch? I would say breakfast. Oh, yes. Love because I, I love um, toasted bread. Oh. See that thing, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. And butter and jam. Roy, I got to bring it up with you. Have you ever heard of Mykonos uh, butter? It's a vegan butter. It is. Yeah, I saw that. Is it really good? Is it so really good? good? So good. Because I wanted to try that, but I'm. You Probably know, get that at Target, just to let you know. Oh, they do. I'm sure. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Jocelyn? It's next next to the dildos. But um, <laughs> do you, it's, it's the best accoutrement yeah. for the dildo. I would yeah, say. yeah. You need a little bit of lube, and why not tasty lube? <laughs> I, breakfast is my favorite meal, honestly. I think it's the best right? meal. I, yeah. I love breakfast for dinner. Breakfast after a comedy show is probably my favorite thing to go do. Like, I love breakfast food. What do you like? What do you like for a breakfast? What do you want? What's your, what's your, what's your, Ooh, it's easy. Hands down. Extra crispy hash browns. Two oh, sides of bacon. Yes. Two sides of bacon. Cause when they say a side of bacon, they give you two pieces of bacon. Yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then biscuits and gravy. That's a go-to oh, for me. I can't oh. get into the biscuits and gravy, but I can tell you what, that, those, those hash browns, those extra crispy hash browns, those will, those will fuck a guy up for a day. Yep. Those are good. Oh, that's correct, according to that sound. Johnny, <laughs> breakfast or lunch? 
Well, it's all it all depends. It all depends. If you're gonna have breakfast for dinner, or breakfast, oh, how do I phrase this? If you're gonna have breakfast for breakfast, no, I'm all a lunch guy. I skip breakfast, but so, I love breakfast, breakfast for dinner, like Jocelyn was saying. Like after a show, go get that Danny's or IHOP. Or right. Something. So you want breakfast goods, but not at breakfast time. You want okay. them at a different time. Yeah. Right. That's for lunch. You like a good lunch. Yes, I want a good lunch. Because so you you not have breakfast usually, just that you just eat when you're hungry at lunchtime. I'm such a big stoner that I can only eat when I'm high. If I'm not stoned, I can't eat. So in the morning, I'm usually doing like bookings, working on flyers and stuff. Uh -huh. That's my go-to time. Then lunch. I, I don't know. Maybe I just program my stomach or body or mind that way. But it's always lunchtime is when I start getting hungry. I, I'm, I never pray in the morning. Right wake up. I want pancakes and and sausage and bacon and, and potatoes. I I can't do that. Oh I don't. God. I don't understand sponsored. needing to like be hungry to eat. I don't understand that thought process. <laughs> Jocelyn's angry about it. <laughs> this is angry. Topic. Why, are you, waiting, why are you waiting until you get hungry? Just put it in there, just like a dildo. Yeah, it it it. Actually, isn't it like that's why you have appetizers to make you eat more? I don't oh. know. My God. My sure. God, Roy, you're just giving it away. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh, my God. You Didn't know, even think about that. After a pancake, you want more, right? By the, way, by the way, there was no wrong answer on that one. There was no wrong answer. I just wanted to see. I just had, I had, I had, I had this morning I didn't eat breakfast, but then I ate my breakfast at lunch with my lunch. That's how I did it. That's how I did it. I was like, <laughs> Ooh. I'm like we're doing it all together. That's the end of that round. That is fantastic. That was picking. You guys did good. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Before we get to trivia, we should probably quench our thirst. And here at Around the Bag, we use liquid death, the best water in the world, to kill your thirst. And now back to the show. This is trivia. We're going to go trivia. Roy, you'll be going up against Johnny for the first one. We'll go up against Johnny. Whoever says, I got this, and then answers it correctly will get the point. All right. If you don't answer correctly, Johnny will get, uh, Johnny or Roy will get a chance. Yes, yes. Okay. So here comes the question. Right now, a group of lions is known as a, a group of what? Lions. A group of lions is known as a. Is it a den of lions? I got this. Is it a den of lions? It is not a den of lions, so you do not have this. Johnny, over to you. I got this. A pack? No, it's not a pack, but it starts with a P and ends with a ride. John? Roy? Anybody? P. Ride. A parade of lions. A parade of lions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, it was. But oh my God, can you imagine? Yesterday. Oh, so. uh, it would have been great if there'd just been gay guys riding on lions down the streets. I would have loved that. I would have been like, oh, we're coming for, we're coming for you, people. Oh. Uh, and by the way, you got it right. You just what, 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 uh, what parade was yesterday? Gay pride. I mean, okay. it's so okay. perfect. Okay. It's, pride, yes. the it's a, a pride of lions, just to let you know. A pride? A pride of lions, yep. So. Is it a pride? Yes. They're queens. They're, yeah, queens. they're queens. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're the lions and the queens. My goodness, we had to take a weird turn to get to that answer. <laughs> <laughs> we had to turn the lions gay and we were walking out this great. Oh my god. Representation. Goodness. <laughs> that was awesome. Roy has one point. Johnny, you're gonna go up against Jocelyn on this one. All right, here we go. Jocelyn, you've seen your competition. Get ready for it. The Kodiak Islands are found in what state? I got this. All right, Alaska. Jocelyn. God damn it, you got one point. Wow. You didn't take five minutes to answer it. Nobody got gay on your wow. wagon watch. What's that, Roy? Smart, you know, very smart. Very smart, very smart. Roy, you're about to go up against that smart one. Okay. Right now, it's one to one. Johnny's got zero, getting thirsty. Here we go. Roy versus Jocelyn. Here we go. Here comes the question. How long does it take to boil an egg? I got this. All right, Jocelyn. 11 minutes. Oh, you're wrong. You're off by five minutes. Roy? 11. <laughs> Still not 11. The same. You said 11, right? I think it's eight. You think it's eight? Yeah. I thought you were saying 11 again. I was like, no. No, once it's wrong, it is always wrong. Just to let you know. <laughs> uh, you're actually right. You're actually right, Roy. But just to let you know, you have to split it because it's actually seven. So it's seven minutes. So you were close, but you weren't wrong. So you weren't, weren't right either. And Jocelyn gets half a point for that, and you get half a point. So it's one and a half, one and a half, zero. There we go. Here we go. 
This is everybody versus everybody. Get involved, Johnny. Get some points on this one. Got you, Here, got we go. You. Here comes the question. How many, how many bones does a shark have? I'll give you a little hint. This. Okay, Jocelyn. 275. No, you're not right. By the way, the amount is the same of the amount of people that have answered this question right so far. <laughs> oh. Oh, so no bones. No bones, Roy. That's right. Did you oh. say no bones? no bones? Oh, my God. And you see how disappointed a gay guy is when he hears there's no bones? <laughs> There's a boner, but no bones. No, there's a boner, but no bones. <laughs> Roy, you got, you got two and a half. Jocelyn's got one and a half. Johnny, he's still like a shark. He's got nothing. So um, a shark has no bones? A no, shark has no, no bones. No bone to pick with a shark? No bone to pick with a shark, which is weird, right? You think they'd be a lot of, no, they're all muscle. Just nothing but muscle. Just a goddamn beef so he, swimming they, in the they, they, He's an airhead. He's an airhead. <laughs> just wants to eat things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Roy versus yeah. Jocelyn versus Johnny. Everybody versus everybody. Here comes the question right now. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. Which country is ACDC from? I really should know this. I got this. Okay, Jocelyn. America. Wrong. It starts with an A, though. Roy? Australia. Oh, yeah. Australia. Oh, my goodness. That, you're correct. My well, goodness. I mean, English speaking and then letter A. Very good. <laughs> I want to be honest with you. I expected Johnny to get that one. I really expected Johnny to get that but, one. But, but just it's very American, right? ACDC. They and moved they... to America afterwards. Yeah. They did. I would always think they're American. I apologize. I just go to the internet, get these questions, and then... Well, you see immigrants, right? It's immigrants. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Here's the last question of the night. Oh, the one that answers this question <laughs> will become my BFF. <laughs> Here we go. What year did the movie The Titanic come out? I got this. Roy. Oh, 1996. No, you're so close, Josh. 97. Uh, it's 1997. 1997, Roy, my God. Nine years after Jocelyn was born. <laughs> no, no, you hold on. You were born in 98, right? No, 88. Sorry. 88. Right. 88. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, Jocelyn, you are my BFF for the week. Congratulations. Oh, my God. You'll be getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts from me. I will be receiving a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts. Thanks for being on the show tonight. Tits McGee Sharp, you're the winner. <laughs> you're going to have a great time. Johnny, thanks yeah. for being here. Roy, thanks for being here. And and remember, guys, there's only one winner, but we're all losers. Have a good night. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna